in this segment, we're going to take a look at the insert special commands features that are found here on the toolbar that it's um, directly below the standard toolbar. They're found um, beside your color palette. And so these are the options here we have thread trim, stop, needle up, frame out, sequin, borer, applique, low speed, you have the ability to set the borer depth, and we have the ability to insert or split an object. So I'll talk a little bit about each one of these things. Basically, um, you have, I guess, the option of adding them to an object or adding them specifically at a stitch. And when they're added, so for example, if I select an object, if I use the transform option, and I select this object here, I could add to that object, for example, um, well, here is the object that I have selected here in the in my sequence manager, and I can see right now that this object already has a thread trim and a needle up at the beginning of that object. And so, whenever um, there's a special command placed on an object, it'll always happen at the beginning of that object. So what that says is, in between this object and this object, the machine's going to have a needle up and it's going to trim the thread. Now, um, if you didn't want, for example, the needle up, you could take it off. And you can see here it removed it from that beginning of that object. Same thing with the thread trim, I could turn that off. Or I could turn it back on again and I could turn on the needle up again. Um, so thread trim, well basically that tells your machine to slow down and pause while it activates the thread trimmer and then start sewing again. Stop um, is just simply exactly what it sounds like. It'll have the machine stop. And there may be some functions that you want to do in an embroidery design that you need to manually do. And so this is just the ability to tell the machine to stop. So for example, if I choose stop, then you'll notice that I get a stop icon here on this object. Um, so needle up, basically what that says is keep the needle in the up position while you perform this function. So the needle is not going to place a stitch, it's going to stay in the up position. A frame out, sometimes you want to be able to get access to your embroidery. This can be helpful when doing applique or cut work or all sorts of special functions. And basically what this does is it tells the machine to move away, slightly away from your embroidery so that you can access the embroidery more easily. If you have a sequin attachment for your machine, then you can insert a special sequin command onto your embroidery objects. And similarly, if you have a borer option for your machine and you want to use this to, I guess a borer would be like a specialized needle that punches a hole in the fabric. And so this is your ability to insert a borer command to your object. And next to that is an applique function, and it's the same thing. If you choose this one, it indicates to the machine that it needs to move away and frame out so that you can access the um, embroidery for the uh, to do your placement of your applique. And so if you choose this, then it will put the applique functions at the beginning of your object. Slow speed, well that's exactly what it sounds like. You can have it slow down the machine speed for this specific set of stitches. Um, and that can be useful, I guess, for times where you have some very long stitches and you want to have the machine go a little bit slower. And then here's where you can set the depth for your borer. So if you're using a borer attachment, then you have the ability to choose from some predetermined borer depths. Now the last option is called split or insert a, an object, and this is f specifically for use with stitch data. So for example, um, perhaps what I could do is I'll zoom in. Notice I'm going to select this object and I'm going to just move it over out of the way from the design. So this is all one object. Now I'm going to choose, so first of all I'm going to scroll in, and I'm going to choose to go to stitch editing. And So when I choose edit stitches, that gives me the ability to come in and select a stitch. So I'm going to select that stitch right there. 
And now, once I've done that, this tool became available. And basically, it says insert an object split, which means split the object. So I'm going to go ahead and use that tool. OK, so it doesn't seem like much happened. But it, what happened is, I'm going to zoom back out. I'll switch back over to the transform tool. And notice now that the object that I had previously is now made up of two objects. So basically, by using that tool, I was able to split that object into multiple objects. So if there's a reason why you have a stitch design and you want to break an object apart and apply a color change or insert some special commands, that's how you can split an object apart. Now, so I showed um, about inserting these commands on an object, but you also have the ability to insert those commands right on a stitch. So I guess I'm going to go in and just find an example. So let's I'll just zoom in closely over this piece of the embroidery and we'll choose that stitch editing mode. Oh, I seem to have zoomed out. And zoom in back here again. So why don't I just go ahead and choose on stitch editing mode, I'll choose one of these stitches. So now I've selected specifically that stitch right there. And so now for example, if I, if I wanted my machine to stop right when it reached that stitch, I could come up and choose the stop command. And notice that it puts the little stop sign right over top of that stitch that I had selected. So now I can see that that function's been added. And I can remove that function again by just selecting that stitch and clicking back on the stop sign and it takes it back out. So if we knew um, that we wanted to have a thread trim, specifically at this part of the design, you select that stitch and you insert the thread trim command and, and now the machine will trim the thread at exactly that stitch. So, so that's the difference. If you use the transform tool and you select an object and you apply a thread trim or a stop, that will happen at the beginning of the sewing of that object. But if you want to move or insert those special commands specifically at a at, you know an exact stitch point, then you switch to the stitch edit stitch options and you can insert that stop or whatever command it is directly over top of that stitch. So we'll add a, a sequin option right at that point. So those are the special commands and a little bit more about how to set and insert special commands.